I tell you what, when he caught that slant, a lot of times I start to scream because a lot of times when uh, interceptions or whenever, whenever they don't score, the, the Steelers have a tendency of letting the, the drive stall. So that's why I was flipping off. I seen he was going to get caught, and I, I just started my use of flipping out. Yeah, so but wasn't, I, it, wasn't I, it smart? Go ahead. No, sorry. Wasn't it smart to go down in bounds, keep the clock running? I just wanted him to score, like you said. That's all I wanted. I wanted him to score. I want people to know that I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Steelers. That's my number one thing, and I just get upset when they do stupid stuff. But I can go from being a, ban- I can go from being a bandwagon guy on the same play. I can be for you or against you on the same play. So is pick him up, put him down, something you yell all the time? Is that like one of your go-tos as you're sitting there watching the game? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, now I see that there are times, and I'll go through this video, at E. Yinzer. That's where you want to go. Check it out uh, on the internet, on Twitter. Now, I see you referencing your father. Is your father there? In, uh, how, not right now, but generally, uh, how old is he, and what's his story in all of this? My dad is uh, 85 years old, but he's not your typical older man. He's, uh, all, he's real functional. Uh, he has his head on his shoulders, and his, his hair ain't even that gray yet. Wow. Nice. Nice. Now, uh, who's your favorite Steeler, by the way, both? And I need, a, I need a long answer here. Who's your favorite Steeler currently and why? And who's your favorite Steeler all time and why, Jimmy? My all-time Steeler guy is Jack Lambert, of, of course. course, because he was a nutcase. I love, I yeah. love when he, yeah. you know, the no teeth, the whole nine yards. Is My it- guy now is Notch, of course. I want him to do good. I mean, I love that guy, and I just wish they would do more blocking techniques to get him to the second level because I think he could be a, a, a force, especially on the Steelers. Well, explain some of these blocking techniques then, Jimmy. Uh, give Matt Canada a piece of advice or Adrian Clem a piece of advice. How do they get Naj going downhill? Well, the Steelers like to go three and four and even five wide, which uh, at this point in Ben's career, I don't even think he gets to the second read. I think he pretty much goes with the first read he sees. So I wish they would go with two tight ends, which they can run and pass out of, or a tight end in another uh, lineman. A lot of times Dallas and uh, Tennessee do that. So if you can uh, double team at the point of attack and get Nodge to the second level, he'll, he'll blow people up. But they tend to uh, do too much of the old uh, Steeler offense, which is, you know, four and five wide. I just don't think that's a good formula for running the ball. Which Steeler do you find yourself yelling at the most often? Oh, Ben. Ben, <laughs> of course. Why? Well, uh, I used to be a big Ben guy, but I think his career is winding down. I was just listening to the radio with you guys, and I see that uh, there, everybody's uh, wanting to sign him next year. I think we should wait and see what goes happen. <laughs> what happens. The last couple of years here, we, uh, the Steelers and him have collapsed at the end of the season. I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but we'll have to see. Yeah, well, what do you, who do you think right now? Like, if you had your designs, what about Aaron Rodgers? Would you, would you like Aaron Rodgers being the next quarterback of the Pittsburgh I Steelers? Can't stand, I can't stand Aaron Rodgers. The I'll hair, t- everything, I, I just can't stand him. Oh, tell me more. Come on, we got to get more out of you there. Why can't you stand Aaron Rodgers? He's, he, to me, he's, not, he's ugly, you know what I mean? He doesn't look good. He got the long hair, now he's got the COVID. He lied about that to the, to the NFL, saying, you know, you know he just – He's just one of my favorite guys. All right, I know so he's a great quarterback, but I never did like him. All right, Jimmy, I'm putting you in Kevin Colbert's shoes this off season. Who's the next quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers? Then? Oh, that's a tough one. I'd like them to get a franchise uh, rookie, obviously, and then uh, depending on what happens, I don't know. I can't see Ben another year, another year, because you know his his accuracy is slowly worn. Is uh, when he throws bombs, he tends to have to put a lot of air in it. So I, I'd like him to move on. You know, he's had a great career, but I'd like to see them move on. At some point, we got to just let it go. I'm, I'm going to ask you real quick hitters about some other people. What do you think of Ron Cook? I like Ron Cook. I listen to all of you guys. I used to be a courier at the end when I retired from my business. I was a courier in a car, so I used to listen to talk radio continuously. So I listen to you guys. I listen to Ron Cook. And Joe, of course, and he's another problem. Oh, and, okay, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. wait a minute. Okay, I need more from you. Why is Joe a problem? He's gotten real whiny lately, Joe, you know? I just don't know. I, I used to enjoy him, but he's gotten real whiny lately. And 
and uh, I don't want to really rip on him, but I think he's a bit of a B. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thank so you what, for keeping it clean. Yeah. What about? You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 We're getting. We got it. Yeah. Uh, what about? Because I think he gets dominated a lot in places. Uh, okay. What about Zeiss? Zeiss. I, eh, I like Zeiss. I don't listen to him a lot, but but I like him. I like him because he he's for real. He doesn't try to be anybody he's not. True. That's true. True. Yeah. F- Filipponi. The young guy, Filipponi and them, uh, that's a tough one, too. I like them, but uh, uh, let's just say I like them, two together, but uh, they're not my favorites. They're not my favorites. Okay. Oh. All right. Fair enough. But Ron, you're big Ron fan. Oh, oh how about Pompiani? How about Pompiani? Of course. Yeah. Of course. He's Pittsburgh. He's like royalty around here, huh? Yeah, he is. I listen to all the shows when at, after the game I listen. Um, to the, I listen to everything. When they lose, you know what I mean? I go into every game telling myself they're going to lose, but I only do that as protection. I do that because then if they lose, I'm prepared. But I, I obviously want them to win every game. Right, right. I noticed in these videos, Jimmy, you always got a similar outfit on, like the socks pulled up right. high, the shorts, the house shoes, the slippers, whatever you want to call them. Is that like, do you do you make it a point you got to wear the same thing every Sunday? Well, no. Obviously, I don't know I'm going to be on video, so I like to be comfortable when I watch <laughs> Oh, no, that's game. a fair point. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I got some bad knees, so that's why those aren't knee pads. Those are knee braces. Gotcha. In fact, yesterday when your guy called me, I was getting an MRI on my knees, so I might have to need surgery. The dog can hold my knee, <laughs> knee braces up. So that, that's gotcha. in that. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, it's been great talking to you. Um, what do you think? This do you think? Okay. A couple more things. Will the Steelers make the playoffs? And what are they going to do against the Bears on Monday night? I think they're going to beat the Bears, but it's going to be tough as always. It's probably twenty sixteen. They don't tend to blow teams out ever, so it's always going to be a nail biter. But they're nineteen and zero on Monday night football on home games. That's good and bad. It's good because it's a streak, but it's bad because when you have a long streak like that, it, it tends to be, you know, going to flip the other way. Yeah, right. hidden, vigorous. hidden vigorous. Yeah, yeah hidden vigorous. If they would just run more and more run formation, that's all I'm asking, and a lot more play action. They don't do play action enough. You saw when they did a last game, I think a couple of times it worked for them. Right. All right. Uh, playoffs or not for the Steelers? Uh, that's a tough one. You got Cincinnati, you got Baltimore. I'm going to say, yeah, just so I don't get ripped in, the, in on Twitter and that. But uh, it's going to be tight. <laughs> I think they're going to wind up like 10 and 7. Okay. Oh, that's, that's positive. That, that gets them in. I, yeah. It does. That gets yeah. them in. All right, Jimmy. Well, it's been great. To, you know, we're going to check in with you periodically throughout the season to get your take on some games that just happened, maybe get a preview here and there. We have your number. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, call me after losses. I'll give you some real good dirt. Okay, oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Say Naj yeah. one more time. Naj. I love the way you call Najee Naj. Naj. He's a bull. He broke all of Henry's records. Get him to the second level. That's all I'm asking. Hey, you, right. you bet on games, not to get personal, but do you bet I on games? I don't. I don't drink or do anything. People say... A lot of people are on Twitter saying, are you drunk? I'm not drunk. I'm just fired up. No, that's the thing. Yeah, right. and, and I know we saw a video from back in the 80s. You were stacked, jacked. my man, when you, you were, were younger. You were jacked when you were growing up. What, what was going on there? Yeah, that was, the, that was the 80s. Me and my boys, we all lifted weights. We went to Wildwood. You know, we dominated. So we dominated the scene. Yeah. <laughs> four or five of us. One guy's an ex-cop in uh, my best friend's a cop in uh, – Ex cop in uh, Monroeville, we fight a lot because he's on Ben's bandwagon 24 7. So he don't talk to me for a few days if I rip the Ben too much. So, All right. Yeah. Well, perfect. We appreciate pleasure it. Pleasure to meet you, yeah, Jimmy. Pleasure to yeah. talk to you. We'll talk again soon. Yeah, call me after the losses, man. I'll, I'll rip I'll them. Rip All, right. All right. We'll do that. Thank we'll you. We'll do. Thank you much. Right. Great Thanks, stuff. Jimmy. Have a good weekend. See you later. See right, you bye. later. That's Dominate our guy, Jimmy. the scene. He's he, all he, over the internet. He could always, like people call into us, right? Yeah, I mean, he call us. He call, no, he he's called before. Yeah, yeah, he's he's good. I like. Uh, wow. My favorite thing is he goes, "Well, I don't know that I'm being videoed." Right. <laughs> he didn't. That's yeah, everywhere. He didn't. That's... No, he didn't know until yesterday. Oh, really? Those were hidden videos. No, that's his son taking the video. Oh, and then I thought they that they were out there on a regular thing. Oh my no, goodness! Now he knows. No, he was. Are you just realizing this right now? <laughs> yeah. 
I just thought he was the he guy was, who was on on so you know on Twitter. No, so it when was he knew, not when his he found Twitter out. account. Those were hidden videos taken. That's why that there was such purity in them, Jim. Oh, okay. Well, now, yeah. I, <laughs> Jim missed the entire hook of what we've just done for a I week. I just thought the guy had been out there and people had seen him. And no, he no, was no. Just like a video star, like a Holy TikTok guy. Hell, uh, no. No, no, no. Well, then he should his be going to get son, paid. Right. His That's... son would hide his camera down by his on the couch right. and just hit record and watch his dad's, his dad's reaction. reaction to things. And so then that became what his son would disseminate because Jimmy, who we just spoke right. to, does not have any social media. Ah. And so when people started to comment, though, he had to blow <laughs> his own cover oh, and say, man. you know why people are talking about you, Dad? It's because here's what I've done. So, oh, okay, but he's not ashamed of it. That's just his no, reaction. He's tremendous. <laughs> I can't believe you're just putting one and one together to make two. Yeah, <laughs> that's even the better story in all of this. It um, is. I guess I'm like, like his his dad's what, like 85, and that's he's what still he said. with it. He's got, yeah, he's still with it. He's got a full. His hair ain't even gray. It's got to be by 20 years. My hair's turning gray, and I'm not with it. 